Hello, welcome back. It's been a while again since I've done some painting here with us. So I'm just going to play a little bit with some graphite. Um, I kind of like graphite and I'm inspired to do it. I'm checking this here on my camera to see how it's going to video. And when you talk and paint at the same time, it keeps you out of the talking mode. I mean, out of the worry mode of your painting. You just start doing, which is pretty cool too, actually. So, oh, that's a good little bit of something. I don't even know what that is. Let's see if I can figure out which one that is. I think that should be the purple. Wow, let's have some paint. So I like to paint on larger pieces. So of course I use this big brush, but I see it's just about going to swallow up this small piece that I'm testing on for us today. So let's see how we can do with a bit of a smaller brush if I have something somewhere I like. And we'll try to come charging in here with a different color. See what happens here. That's also a nice... See, I made these wet. I pre-wet them just to see that they were ready for us to go. And evidently, we are ready to go. So this is just going to be a quick little study. And I'm kind of excited to see how it's going to turn out. I also have some graphite sticks here. I can make them wet. hope you can see this in the camera. And charge in some of this color and see what happens there. Ooh, let's sap up some of that water. That's pretty cool, isn't it? So, you know, you can lay water down and you can pick it up. Different ways to pick up water. I'm kind of liking that green. Let's put a little bit, charge a little bit of that green in over here break up this whatever color this is just a touch just a touch so this is the fun part about painting just on your very own without a plan without an outline just go and dig in Wow, look at that gorgeous blue. Now, see, blue is one of my favorite colors. What's your favorite color? I know I like blue. So we're going to have a little bit of fun bouncing this blue all over the place. I keep rinsing in my water, dapping on my sponge, and then pulling it out more however I feel like I want it to go. So we seem to have a big blob of stuff, fun stuff. And where we made marks before, you see, you can make them wet and they'll add to the beauty and to the yumminess and bring it on through. So what else do you guys think? I think what color is this one? I've got my little box over here that's supposed to be the same lineup of what I've got here. This is red 230, which is right here, the red 230. So here would be the green, like this one. Here would be the blue. Now that says green, graphite green. And this one says graphite yellow. Well, isn't that funny? Let's change them. I wonder what the yellow looks like, but I think I used it. Didn't I use it? It doesn't look like yellow. It looks like green to me. We are testing to see what this graphite is doing. So this one must be wet here. Graphite blue, which I think will be like that blue. This is violet. Violet. I think I used that too. This looks like it might be violet. What do you think? touch. Yeah, that's violet. Oh, yeah. Nice. Look at that color. 
Oh, and blend it in there with that dark line. Makes it a really deep, deep color. Okay. And then this one down here is brown. Graphite brown. It's number 70. Don't think I want any more brown in there right now. But I wonder which one really would be yellow. That again looks like green. Hmm. Well, I'm going to let them dry. Let this thing dry up a little bit. Actually, I'm going to bring some lines in of lifting. Because it is graphite and whatever, you can redirect it with just a wet brush. Change things around however you feel like you want to. Or make some new lines, new directions. Lots of things you can do with watercolor that you can't do with other mediums. Like you can make all that soft and fuzzy back in there. Interesting, isn't it? So we're going to let this dry. I'm going to pause this out for just a minute. I actually want to lift some light spots in here. Another light spot in here. Just some different shapes. And just Since it's still wet like this, you can even lift it when it's dry. But because it's wet like this, you can move it and shift it. Make it how you feel like you want it to be. Bring that one in. Bring that. It's going to give you a nice hard line and then a soft line. Let's give it a little direction. Let's go like that. Isn't that cool? Okay, so we're going to stop for now. Stop, Madeline. Stop. <laughs> And we'll let this dry, and we'll come back to it in just a minute. Awesome. Okay. Welcome back. So, now we're really going to play. It's all dry now. And I'm looking at this thinking, I'm not sure what I'm going to do. So, I got out my cute little glass pen set. If you don't have one of these glass pens, you might want to see about getting one, because I love mine. And I'm putting it in this gold. And the same with a, a pen like this. I always tap it off a little bit. And then I'm just going to go through and start putting some gold marks. Roll your pen as you go. It takes a little doing at first to get started with it. Let's tap it again. And you know what? It's okay if big bobs come off on this. Because it's really just fine. Look how much gold is on here. So I'm going to roll it all in here in a nice different way like this is almost like how I like to do my acrylic paints with a nice section and then change it up a little bit so we'll see what continues to happen here I know how I would like it to happen let's see how well it's showing up there we go it's tiny tiny this little glass pinpoint is a is a narrow one Oh, there we go. There's some more. I'm really liking how it does that a lot. It's just like it's thrown gold out on us. Little sparkles of gold everywhere. Let's do a little bit more. Hope you can see what's going on here. Me and my pen are having a gold dance. <laughs> Rinse it out really good. I also have some black here. Let's see how we do with the black. Let's see if we can do some things with the black. Now see, it's doing better lines with black. But I know it does well with gold too because I've done it. Give it some more. And run through the gold and it picks it all up. And then I like some little lost and found places. Like, okay, what is that really saying? What's that really doing? It's just a dancing 
You have to have fun when you paint. Look at it go through the gold. It adds to this um, distinct look of marbleizing. That's kind of what I'm starting to see in it. What are y'all starting to see in it? Okay, oops. I'm sorry for all the clanking noise. Then I wanted to try this. I have this opaque white. Copic opaque white. That I haven't used before. And I think it'll give me little lines and dots. Now let's see, where do we want to put some of them? Let's try some right in here. Oh, yeah. Line, line, dot, 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 dot. Tiny dots. I'm kind of liking it. Oh, <laughs> this does really, really good. You know, I ha oh, let's make a line with it. When they connect up, just improvise and see what it is you feel like you want to do with it. I'm going to bring that line all the way through. Give it a few more dots on this side. A few more dots on this side. And they're not dot dots. They're like little mark marks, which can go back into lines if you wanted them to. So just like do your thing. Just keep doing your thing. Here's a dot dash dot. Pretty cool, huh? Man. This is so much fun. If you don't get yourself into just going into playing with painting, you should. It's the best stress reliever, actually. Let's see if I can go back and make some dots with my gold. I should be able to. Now, I have this gold Posca pen, but it kind of looked yellow to me. So I didn't really want to teen any dots. Oh, there's a good one. Didn't wasn't sure that I wanted that. Let's run that. When you find something you like, run with it. <laughs> run far away. Don't let anybody catch you. That's kind of different, isn't it? Okay. We're going to try that Posca pen. I want to know from y'all if y'all think it's yellow or actually gold. Let's run that together. Okay. I like these glass pens a lot. Now let me find that. Here's the gold Posca one. I'm not sure if it's like we want it to be tested here. What color is it looking to you? I guess it looks kind of gold, doesn't it? More of a yellow gold than this bright gold. But you know what? I like gold. And this Posca pen, doing a pretty good little job of it. Better than what I thought. But this is why you do these things, because you get to play with it and see what happens. So a little bit of that one. And I think that might do us for now. Let's take a look. What do you say? What do you say? It's one of these little play experimental ones, and it doesn't really matter exactly how it comes out. I never get my tapes on straight, do you guys? Even when I mark my lines, they don't necessarily come on straight. So there you go. Hope you can see it okay. Hope it's working all right on this iPhone video. So thanks for playing with me today. We'll see what else we can do. Bye for now.